That was so cool, my love. We saw it like behind the trees and we're like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? So I just went to renew our uh, camp ground reservation at the little credit card machine. Not to do free. And I was walking down this path right here and we saw our first Grand Canyon tarantula. Where is it? Oh, spiders give me the creeps. I think it might be dead, but it's still freaking creepy. Where? Keep going. I That's think it? No, it's definitely dead. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it is. It looks kind of dead. I don't know. Isn't that creepy? It's not that big. But if it was on you? <laughs> That's freaking gross that it's like in the wild. Crawl into our camper. Ugh. You guys, a tarantula. It's crossing our path. How about you go get footage of it? <laughs> Come on, my love. If it attacks me, here, right. stay. <laughs> oh, that's a moose. An elk. Is it an elk? Oh yeah, that's an elk. <gasps> Look at him. That is crazy. I think Holy that's God. moose, that's an elk. No, they're all moose. No, that one's a moose, it's got a different face. Did he growl? Yeah. Paris, you did your job. That was crazy. They came like right up to us. That's, I'm pretty sure that was two moose, like a mom and a baby and an elk. Really? I think so, like a mom and a moose. I don't know, I thought they were all elk. I thought the big one was a moose at first because it was so big. That was yeah, insane. Like stuck on the trees. And it just like Look, stared it's at still us. Right there. Yeah, it's still over there. It's got a moose nose. That was so cool, my love. I know. We saw it like behind the trees and we're like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> He's still right over there. I thought it was an alpaca. <laughs> You thought it was an alpaca? From when I was around the trees, I was like, is that like an alpaca? What is that? He's right, he's right there. We're at this restaurant lodge area and there's outlets on the side of the building, but they're pretty far away from any place where we could sit and work. So Corbin just went and got our extension cord. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna buy food here. I know, we're gonna buy food. It's just not very dog friendly sitting, so we gotta make it dog friendly. I used to be a news live van operator, and that's why I, I always carry like 100 feet of extension cord on a spool like that. Because you never know when you're gonna need it. It's my old news photographer traits, they die hard. <laughs> the Subaru. Those are so cool. All those old cars and the little wooden trailers. Camping in style. Camping in style. That's glamping. <laughs> We're right on the edge. I didn't realize it was so brown. Like, the river? Yeah, the river just looks really brown down there. I thought it was like blue. It looks tiny compared to these huge canyons. I know. It's crazy that it carved out this whole thing. We are at the um, eastern side and now we're at like the main Grand Canyon Village area. It's pretty cool. This 
is kind of cool. They have like all the different layers of what the canyon's made out of. Going all the way down. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. I love this geology stuff. Yeah. The Grand Canyon is six million years old. The Colorado River carved it out and it carves out the thickness of a piece of paper every year. And then it get wide it gets wider when like cliffs fall down. That's or, crazy. Like, side streams erode. That's a lot of pieces of paper. That's a lot of pieces. There's no sticks here, so we have to use this big, huge branch that fell to roast our marshmallows. <laughs> Let's get started. It's a little thick, but it'll work. I think that'll work. Some more time. With Reese's and Nutella. Mm. Look at that concentration. What's your technique? Um, let it get as puffy as possible. Without getting in the flame? Mm -hmm. You just Sometimes get. Sometimes they burn. But Ooh, it looks gold and brown. There it is. With a Reese's cup. Mm. Oh, she's letting the Reese's melt. <laughs> Got something on your face right there. Look how cozy this guy looks. Paris. Oh, Paris. He is just so cozy with his little tiger. He was outside and he was whining because he really wanted to come into the comfy van. And I don't really blame him because I'm pretty comfy too. It's so nice to have a van to come back to. Like, we've gone tent camping and we love tent camping. We're still going to do it even after this trip. But I just love having the van and being able to just get into a nice warm bed and you feel like you're at home but you can be outside in the wilderness thumbs up for the grand canyon and those amazing views we tried to catch the sunset and we like raced home but we didn't catch it and i'm pretty bummed but we got to see it like out our window we didn't get to vlog it unfortunately but we've had some pretty amazing sunsets on lake powell if you haven't seen those videos you should go check them out because those sunsets were just like blown away there's no other sunset that i've seen that is going to be that is going to top that i mean tonight's was pretty cool though but we've been pretty lucky uh but hit that thumbs up button comment below with any of your favorite sunset spots subscribe and go check out all our links in the description we have a ton of cool stuff down there we've got t-shirts uh water bottles all sorts of stuff places to find free camping so go check it out and be where your feet are yeah.